Hi, so what I've decided to do is, um, I was going to do, take each brush and decide, is this a blush brush, is this a highlighting brush, a bronzer brush, but I think what I'm going to do instead is pick up each brush and first decide if I even want to keep it. Is it too scratchy? Does it, you know, as I glance at all of them, does it appear that I have nine million of them? Um, you know, so I think that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to pick up each one and say... I don't think I'm making much progress. I mean, I'm making progress. Let me. These are keepers. I mean, that's just that. That's that can't be. Do you know what I mean? These are so far. Nose, and I still have this to go. But this is this is just this is impossible. It's not good. So we'll just have to purge the purge. Uh, all right, so this is obviously very used. Oh, it has to be cleaned. This is an it brush. Chances are I might keep that. This is scratchy. This is very firm. What would I use this for? All right, oh, I bet you these are Mallies from 100 years ago. They sure are pinky. And I remember these being so soft, and now they're scratchy. Here's another mail. This used to be one of my favorite brushes from Mally. Oh, my beloved flat tops. Flat top elf brush for powdered foundation. Cannot beat it. I don't care what it Cannot beat it? Well, I'm sure somewhere I haven't tried every brush in the world, but I just don't think you can beat it for powdered foundation. Elf. Snakes. Oh, remember the Mr. and Mrs. Bunny sets from Sigma? I don't know if this was Mr. or Mrs. Bunny, but, oh, this is soft, and this is old, and this is soft. Boy, they had it going on. Nice. Okay, first go round, 73 brushes have been purged. I haven't counted how many I've kept, because that math can be done at the end. But at this go round, 73 have been purged. There's probably double that still left. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do them by shape as much as possible and then pick the best of the shapes. So if I have 10 flat tops for powder foundation, which will be my favorite, five of the 10, something like that. Okay, I have no idea what phase I'm in now, but there's 83 brushes, so I was able <laughs> to get rid of only 10 more. So this group, I don't know what to call this group, chunky handles, kabuki style handle. So there's that group. This, I guess, would be the fluffy, fluffy, we'll see as we go on. Um, this group is the bullet shaped. These are one of a kind, you know, NARS, you know, I know those. This is a big fan brush. And I have a Wayne Gloss. I should say, none of my Wayne Gloss brushes are in here at all. They're in a completely separate place. And obviously, my eye brushes I've not done yet. These are blush brushes in my book. So I had no idea I had this many flat tops. Or I hardly wear powder foundation. And clearly, you can wear it with any kind of liquid foundation. But I had no idea. These are stippling brushes. My favorite is the e.l.f. And I guess I have some other brands. I love these for applying cream blush because I literally stipple, 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 stipple to spread it. I love these. And I do like cream blush, brush, blush. These are a waste of money, in my opinion. Just my opinion. These all have that um, curvature. This is a Marc Jacobs, and for years it was my absolute... I don't know if this is face one or face two. Let's see, face two. My absolute number one favorite to, let's see if I get the shade, to apply foundation. And these all have that same kind of shaved on one side. So that's that group. This group is a group I rarely use, these slanted brushes. 
I love these are in, very much in circulation now. My Sephora brushes, I use them for blush or bronzer. These are very, very, these three are very narrow brushes. So I'm thinking contour, I have no idea. The similarity in these are they're smaller than blush, I mean, powder brushes. They maybe are bronzer brushes, highlighters. And these, let me turn the camera on. I have no clue. Like, I have no clue. So I'm thinking they're all just going to be liquid foundation. Lucy, say hi, Lucy. Say hi, you're in front of the camera. Okay, we're going to start choosing which brushes in each category get to stay. This requires a little wine. I did mention in my Facebook group, have you joined that Facebook group? We talk about all kinds of things. Nice and private, just a, it's a nice place to be. But I mentioned in my Facebook group that in order for me to pare down my brushes, I would probably need a straw and a bottle of wine, maybe vodka. I'm just starting with a glass. Oh. So we're going to start with this. It just seems to me these chubby kabukis will be the easiest to um, pare down because what 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 does one need with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And um, it's still nice. It has enough give. It's not too, you know, too firm that it would take everything off as you put it on. This one's too firm. This is Echo Tool, so this is going to go. It Cosmetics. No, it's fine, but you got to make a cut somewhere, right? Koki, is that that Walgreens, Walmart brand? Too stiff. I had to keep another one, it would be the it, but we shall see. I just bought this one at Walmart. It's a bronzer brush, allegedly. It's way too big for bronzer. I'd have bronzer everywhere, but boy, is this a nice feeling brush. Hmm. Okay, it might stay. I oh, I have another it cosmetics. Okay, well, maybe one will stay because and this is no, this is a Laura Gale of the kind that, you know, a Laura, but I don't have the lid to it, so it's going to go. All right, so we are down to four. I kept, this just seems, just seems too small. Just no. Excuse me while I have another sip of wine. Okay. This, by it, seems too big. Like, what the heck do you, I don't know, what would you do with it? If somebody knows what you would do with this ginormous it brush, let me know and maybe, oh wow, it's shutting. Maybe I'll, I'm not going to toss these for a while. I'll read the comments and maybe you, like if you really super want to powder heavy your very oily T-zone. And then I have these, which are basically the same. One is Sigma and one is Unknown. Okay, Sigma feels fine. This one's a little stiffer. Yeah, the stiffer one's going to go. So that leaves me with one and maybe two. If somebody can tell me what the heck I'm supposed to do, because I could do that with this and be more precise. I could powder under my eye. I don't really do that. Two. Okay. I think both of these are going to go. They're very, see, they're just like, and I suppose if you are, I don't even think there's enough. There. Even if you had the most pigmented brush, a uh, blush, how would, these are both going. I'm on a roll. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna do the flat tops and then we'll take a break. This is painful. And I don't know why. I don't wear that much powder foundation. Why is this painful? Another sip of wine. Hey, can you see this right here? That's Vito. Say hi to Vito. Hello, Vito. Happy Halloween. Should I put a little, little pumpkin hat on him? No. 
wine. What did I say I was going to do next? Okay, the flat tops. And then we will click on... Okay, let's first of all count the... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not done. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have fourteen flat top brushes. The only one I know for sure that I love is the Elf. It has just the right give. It's big enough for my big face. I have a very big face. <sighs> okay. Oh, I like this. It has a lot of give. Okay, one of these is going to have to go, and it's going to be this one. <laughs> I'll be very drunk, and I will have concluded this nightmare. Second glass of wine. I don't know what else to say. Second glass of wine. So I'm on my third, halfway through my third glass of wine. Look, I'm almost done. And now Lucy, Lucy, you're the quiet one, honey. Okay, I think we're talking about foundation brushes. All right. I have like 17 or 18 of them. I counted them seven times and I just don't remember anymore. This is, I'm just saying. I do love that stuff. With all, with all my heart. I don't know what that is from. I feel like it's Elvis. All right, never mind. I'll just, I'll do this on my own because. Just the way it goes. Okay, I'll be back again. Okay, I have two Sonia Kushik. Kushik. Kushik? 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 Kushik. Sonia Kushik? Kushik? I have two. Like, that's silly. I don't need two. I just need one. We keep one. And yes, the glass of wine is empty. It would have been impossible without the wine. I just want you, now I'm like, oh, whatever. Now I have two of these crazy brushes from it. What the heck? They're so, well, maybe they're not so bad. For liquid foundation? Could it get in there? Mm. All right, we'll keep one. Oh, thanks. I don't know what to do. Now you're going to start barking. Bark, bark, bark. Okay, I am not getting a fourth glass of wine because... Do I need to bring you closer? Whoops. That's the window. Because, you know, I really need to get fillers. I'm looking at this. I think it's the shadows. Because, yeah, I just pretty much don't give a bunny's butt about what the lighting looks like and all that junk. Okay, so this is the problem. Now, I love bronzer brushes. There's something so luxurious about them, and they're big, and they're fluffy, and it's just a wonderful thing. And my number one favorite foundation brush is Marc Jacobs Face 2. I, I just, oh my gosh, I love this brush. So it's dang. Now, I don't know what this is about. This is a Tarte brush. I cannot remember what kit it came from. I'm sure from QVC because that's where I get my kits from. But it's ridiculous. Like, this is Sonia Kashuk. Look, look, look at that. And I had two of these. Did I mention that? I had two of these. So I'm, I'm getting one of them was gone. So I'll keep this one. But I don't know what to do with this Tarte one. It almost seems like a waste to get rid of it. Like, what would I I don't know. I have to keep it. This is the newest one I've gotten from Tarte. It's triangular, which I don't know, not Tarte. It, it cosmet it's triangular because they just keep trying to reinvent themselves to keep us buying. It came with a kit, but I like it, so I'm gonna keep it. This is Doll 10, which is sold on QVC. Can't say I'm a big fan of Doll 10. Um, her lip colors are too neutral for me. 
I don't know, whatever. Just, you know, we're fans of some things, we're fans of other things, and not of other things. Not of other things. I've not had another glass of wine. But everyone who has this brush raves about it, so I'm keeping it. So it's going away. This is the e.l.f. something brush. I know that, oh dear, somebody uses this. Oh, Geek Out of Water, I believe, uses this brush, and she loves it, so I'm going to have to keep it. I do like this Tarte brush with this kind of like, again, shaved angle. See it? I do like this one. It's very, very reminiscent of the Marc Jacobs, except probably half the price. Keeping that one. Now, this is ridiculous. The Real Techniques Multitasking Brush. This is a favorite of many, for many reasons. So I should probably keep it, right? <sighs> Life is hard. Okay. I think this is, this, this is as much as I can handle. Here are the fluffy powdery brushes that are left. Here are the, okay, that's ridiculous for blush brushes. Hmm, oh well. Okay, that's normal, four, that's a good number. Two of these bullet style things. These are my <clears throat> unusual brushes, so they will stay put. I still have too many flat top, but Oh well. These I think will be my contour brushes and they're mostly normal size and then you got this giant one. This is, somebody help me remember, I believe these are my um, bronzer brushes. Um, although where's my Tom Ford? Like that leads the pack. Oh maybe I left it out with the Wayne Goss. I don't remember. What was this going to be? Contour? No. I think these, oh, maybe highlighter. Oh, jeez. This is the contour group, which is, I mean, that's just a ridiculous amount for contour. And finally, we have the liquid foundation, even though I always use a blue beauty blender. But, alrighty, we're good. Done. Here are the numbers. These are all the brushes that are going bye-bye. And the total of the brushes going bye-bye is 124. So 124 of these are going bye-bye. Okay, these are the brushes I've kept. And uh, these are the highlighting brushes. These are the contour brushes. These are the stippling. These are what I would call whatever, miscellaneous. Flat top, bronzer, blush. Way too many blush brushes left. Liquid foundation, again, way too many left. Powder brushes. I'm okay with that. I need a more compact container for that. And these are the four, where am I? Whoa, hello. These are the four Kabuki brushes. And that total, all of these, is 88. Who'd have thunk? 88, huh? And these are my Wayne Gloss brushes. I just always keep them separate. Face brushes, eye brushes, and I have 22 Wayne Goss brushes. And uh, it was a good thing to do, but now um, I'm sure many are saying, what is she going to do with all those brushes? I have no idea. I have no idea. My family and friends are like up to here with stuff for me. Obviously, they're all very used. I can't donate them. I have no desire to clean them. I own this many brushes because I own that many lipsticks. I own that many foundations. I own that many nail polishes. I own that many blushes and highlighters. It's what I do. I am thankful that I can do it and still take care of the rest of my life. And uh, it's what I do. I don't take trips to Rome. Although, I'm thinking about it. Um, 
anyway, you know, if you've watched me a long time, you know that I'm fine and this is what I do. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with all those brushes. And I, I, maybe they'll just drift off into the sunset. So, but thank you so much for coming along. I 